Today we are going to try some new sponges from Juno and Co. And also I am going to show you guys what kind of makeup I wear going to work. So I've been working from home for a year now. I didn't have to makeup. This is like my everyday face now since I am work just working from home. I don't have to go anywhere. So I I would wear makeup today because I'm gonna film another video. This is the package I received uh, whilst I was on vacation last month. It's actually a pretty cute package. It's a bit holographic. Ka fancy. What I got for in that package were five sponges. Um, I'm gonna try a couple of these. I'll see first but like, what I will actually use or keep. And with the bundle as well, it came with one microfiber new shape sponge bundle where four sponges. But like, we'll start with the brush first. This is their brush. Babe Squad Handy Bookie Brush ES10. That's what it looks like. It's actually really soft. Oh, I'm gonna like this. It's also matte, which is really classy. I like the black. It's shiny and then it's ano, matte. So, inamoy. I have a bad habit of smelling stuff. Am I rubber? But yan not rubber ba yun? Masa yun may amoy siya. Kaya mabango naman. Bakang okay naman siya. Um, I have my cheat sheet here. So, oh, this is the microfiber fusion sponge. Ito pa ng pangalan niya. Legit pala niya. Microfiber Fusion Sponge. Ito yung isang sponge na wala pala ako na gusto ko i-try. Ay, oh. Ay, maganda pang contour ito. Yung itong part. This one, I don't know. Under eyes? No. Um, maybe eyeshadow a bit. Pwede, pwede. You can actually draw your contour on here then maybe blend. Next, we have the Microfiber Contour Sponge. So, this packet... It's actually a bit cuter. May mga ano pa icons, icons sila dyan sa harap and liquid. Oh, seamless results every time, apparently. This looks like a, a quartz, like a gemstone or some sort. Parang ganyan siya. It looks kind of weird. It looks like a capsule. Pero it has like a rigid stuff. So apparently, ito pang contour siya. Contour. Yeah, that is actually, okay. Microfiber precision sponge. Akala ko it'd be the same with like this one. But it's not. It has like another small thing here and then a massive thing there. And it's actually bigger. I actually might not take this out of the packet. The next one is we have the microfiber sculpting sponge. It looks like an upside down teardrop sponge. It's a picture. Ha? Ayan siya. Ang laki niya in fairness ha, compared sa ano, microfiber velvet. Ang lalaki nila. Microfiber um, dewdrop sponge. Parang beauty blender lang siya. Ayan, magkasay sila. Ito na, expand na siya. I put water with it na. I think I'll keep this for myself. I like these. So we shall try to put on makeup with these ones. And we'll try on gaano sila ka precise. Not precise. So with the sponges, I'm gonna try to do how I wear my makeup at work. When I was still going into the office, I would always wear makeup. I think I am always like sort of glammed up. I came to work one time lang, one time without makeup, and someone asked me, "Is everything okay? Are you all right?" Ni lang ako nag makeup. Problema na ba ako? I wore makeup every day. Let's go through it step by step. So first, I always like put primer on as well. So we're using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instantly Touch Primer. This is the sample size from Sephora. Next, we do foundation. Then for foundation, we'll try the Fenty Beauty foundation. I am in the shade 290. I do not put the foundation directly here as for instructions. So next, we put on concealer. The concealer na gamit na today is the Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind. This is one of my favorite concealers. So I just put them like it's under eyes go. And maybe some here. Okay, next we go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I know I said that I could use this for contouring, but I want to try. Try it lang naman. Nagamitin siya for powder. After powder, I do my eyebrows. I usually use a Benefit Roof Proof Pencil. Um, this is just the small one. I always get the small one. So I usually just brush my eyebrows into place. Mm -hmm. 
one of the things that takes like a while is actually my eyebrows and eyeliner which is coming up next so this is where i become a bit more extra i have mastered i can say that my eyeliner for the past few years ever since college if not college when i started working so i have a very weird way of doing my eyeliner and now the weird part i use my left hand or my left eye So there, that's my eyeliner. Yeah, ganyan ako katagal mag eyeliner. I don't know how long that was, but yes, that's how long I do my eyeliner sometimes, and it becomes really um, excessive sometimes. So I think I went like. Okay, so after eyeliner, I actually sometimes put a bit of contour. So this is where maybe we could use some of these ones. Okay, I'll use this for bronzing. So I'm gonna use this Sephora on a shimmering bronzing powder. So how does that look? That looks very, very defined. Oh, very defined. Maybe I should have used this side. It looks a bit excessive. I'm gonna try to buff that out. Now I think we can use some bit of powder detail. Now we're just fixing it all up. I've messed it up. Ay oh, perfect siya pang ano, pang bake. Na na niya na tanggal yung product. Oh grabe. Grabe siya pa sa kapit. But look at all the fallout. Kung kita nyo man yan. Ang grabe yung fallout niya. And nabawasan na siya. Tsaka kaganong ko. Blush. Kalaga nagsusot ako ng blush. So what we're using is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And insightful, I think that's the ano. And then we put the highlighter. So I would use the Becca and Mood Tone. Maybe we'll use this one. We'll see how well it glides. So we'll put highlight. Let's see if that actually works. I feel like it doesn't. Um, it's not applying. No, it's not. It's not applying. So because we'll use this one. Oh, diba? Hand brush talaga. After that, my sure, of course, I would always use a setting spray. So what I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter, and there you have it. I don't put lipstick on actually when I go to work. Um, I'd put lip balm sometimes, but not lipstick because I'm too lazy for that. Maybe we'll try to use a um a lip tint. We'll use Dear Darling Tint from Etude House in red. So there you have it. This is my, my makeup look for when I go to work. Thoughts on the sponges. The Microfire Fusion Sponge and the Sculpting Sponge. Um, this is actually really good for like when you bake here because it really just like glides and puts on the product. But at the same time, it like catches a lot of product as well. So that's that's not it. It was like full earlier, diba. Right? And for this one, I think this was this side was too big of an angle for me to have used here. Maybe I should have used this small one. I wasn't able to wet these sponges. I'm looking forward to actually have try them wet wise. This one as well for like most of the makeup. Cause I use this one, which is damp. So for the damping this up and actually using it as the main sponge I use for most of the stuff. This one, I'm still figuring it out, like the gemstone looking one, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching this very, very messy video of me putting on makeup and trying out these two new sponges. Hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next one.